Good morning, my dear students. In this video, we are going to discuss about stores and the laws that governs the stores in the CMPA is Section 818 to 821. Okay, so let us now start with Section 818 because Section 818 is telling about what stores are. Okay, and specifically what stores are for consumption okay so the stores for consumption shall include letter a goods intended for use by the passengers and the crew on board vessels aircrafts or trains whether or not sold okay so in this um, definition it says here that stores are goods okay meaning they are articles they can be things foods or um, they are things that are being used by the passenger and the crew on board the vessel or aircraft or train, okay? Whether or not sold, okay? So that means it is intended for the use of. Ibig sabihin, they are going to use those things or those goods. Okay, letter B, goods necessary for the operation and maintenance of vessel, aircrafts or trains including fuel and lubricants but excluding spare parts and equipment which are either on board upon arrival or are taken on board during the stay in the customs territory of vessel aircraft or trains used or intended to be used in international traffic for the transport of persons for remuneration or for the industrial or commercial transport of goods whether or not for remuneration okay so letter b of section 818 says that the stores for consumptions are the goods that are necessary for the operation and maintenance of vessel, aircraft, or trains. Okay? So that includes the fuel and lubricants. Okay? So those are the stores for consumption. But Section 818, letter B, is saying that the spare parts and equipment that are on board that particular vessel are included, I mean excluded, from... Um, the definition of stores for consumption. Okay? So, itong mga spare parts and equipment, okay, that was on the vessel, aircraft, or train upon arrival, okay, or those that are taken on board. Okay? So, for example, um, a certain uh, passenger or cruise ship goes to Singapore and then they buy a certain spare parts from Singapore, okay? And then they put that particular spare parts inside their vessel because they are intending to bring it back to the Philippines, okay? So, um, that particular spare part or equipment that they bought from Singapore is not, is, is not a store for consumption. So, that is not included in the definition of a store for consumption, okay? And it says also here that um, those that have been taken on board during the stay in customs territory or intended to be used in international traffic for transport of person, for remuneration, for the industrial and commercial transport of goods, whether or not for remuneration. So, yung mga spare parts and equipment na ginagamit nila for the industry um, and commercial transport of goods, they are not... Um, they are not uh, declared as stores for consumption. So that's what Section 818 is saying. So these stores, from the word itself, these are really goods. They are goods then. And they are being stored in the vessel, aircraft, or trains. Okay? So these are the supplies that um, the person inside that particular vessel, aircraft, or trains are using in their journey to where they are going to go, okay? So, let's now proceed to Section 819. Section 819 are stores to be taken away. And for purposes of this chapter, stores to be taken away means goods for sale to the passenger and the crews of vessel, aircraft, or train with a view to being landed. Okay, so stores to be taken away are, these are goods, okay, 
that are being sold to the passenger and the crew. Okay? And this goods will be landed or will be taken away from where they are going to go. Okay? So for example, the vessel came from Singapore and then they are intending to go to the Philippines and then um, a particular um, person or passenger or crew of the vessel um, they bought something from that particular place okay or for example there are stores inside the vessel and they bought something um, from there okay so that means that these um, goods are stores to be taken away okay because they are going to bring it um, to where they are going. So unlike um, stores for consumption, meaning they are going to consume, um, they are going to consume um, that particular that particular goods inside that particular vessel, aircraft, and train. Okay, so these goods are the goods that are being. Um, taken on board during their stay in a particular customs territory or it can either be um, they bought it inside uh, that particular vessel aircraft or train okay so those are the stores to be taken away so when we talk about renumeration here it says that um, renumeration is the payment or a salary of the employee or the crew on board the vessel, aircraft, or train. So whether or not that particular um, goods are being um, given to them as a form of salary or renumeration, those stores or those goods um, shall be still uh, declared as stores for consumption or stores to be taken away, okay? Because um, they should distinguish whether or not those goods are consumption or to be taken away because it will affect if those goods will be um, subject to duties of payment, tax, of payment of duties, taxes, and other charges. So again, so those stores for consumption are the stores that are intended to be used inside the vessel aircraft or the train that, that is intended to be used by the passenger and the crew. Okay, and another stores for consumption are those goods that are necessary for operation and maintenance of the vessel, which includes the fuel and lubricants. So those are stores for consumption. While stores that are to be taken away are the goods for sale to the passenger. So those goods that are inside the vessel that are going to be sold to the passenger. So for example, it's a cruise ship and then there is a store or uh, um, store inside the particular vessel, those goods that are being sold to the, to the passengers. So those are um, goods that are um, stores to be taken away. And also, um, if the passenger or crew buy something uh, from a customs territory during their stay in that particular customs territory, then um, those should be um, distinguished as stores to be taken away. Okay, so as per section 818 and 819. Okay, now let's proceed to section 820. It says here, exemption from duties and taxes of stores. Okay, so sabi dito, customs treatment of stores should apply uniformly regardless of the country of registration or ownership of the vessel, aircraft, or trains. Okay. So, sabi dito, there should be a uniform customs treatment of stores, okay? So, whether or not sa particular bansa siya nang galing or kahit saan man siyang bansa nang galing or kung saan mang bansa nakarehistro ang vessel, aircraft, at train mo, there should be a customs um, treatment which are uniform, which is uniform sa lahat. Ibig sabihin, there should only one customs treatment for stores. Okay? So, stores which are carried in a vessel, aircraft, or train arriving in the customs territory shall be exempted from import duties taxes provided that they remain on board. Okay? So,
So, lahat daw ng stores na nasa vessel, aircraft, and train which arrived from a foreign country or, or from another customs territory that arrived here in the Philippines shall be exempted from import duties and taxes if they did not, uh, if they just remain on board the vessel, of, if they did not unload that particular goods or that particular store. Okay? But stores for consumption by passenger and crew imported as provisions on international express vessels, aircraft, and trains shall also be exempted from import duties and taxes. Okay, so dito pumapasok yung kaibahan ng stores for consumption and stores to be taken away. So sabi sa section 820, stores for consumption ni passenger and crew, okay, they shall be exempted from import duties and taxes. Okay, but there is a... Pro um, a provision here it says provided that such goods are purchased only in the countries crossed by the international vessels and aircrafts in question okay sabi dito such goods are purchased only in countries crossed by international vessels and aircrafts in question okay so kailangan daw yung mga goods na yon you purchase that from countries crossed by international vessels. Okay? So that means um, those countries that can be uh, that are that can be um, go to by international vessels and aircrafts. Okay? Another provision is that any duties and taxes chargeable on such goods in the country where they were purchase or pay. Okay? So, kailangan daw yung mga duties and taxes ng para doon sa goods na binili mo shall have been paid doon sa country kung saan mo siya binili. Okay? So, before going to the Philippines, lahat dapat ng duties and taxes for, for that particular goods na binili mo in a certain country should be paid already for those goods to be um, tax and duty exempt here in the Philippines. Stores necessary for the operation and maintenance of vessel, aircrafts, or trains which are on board this means of transport shall be exempted from import duties and taxes. Okay? So, ito naman daw, yung mga stores to be taken away um, which are the goods for sailor passengers uh, sorry, so stores necessary for the operation and maintenance of vessel. So, yung daw mga stores na mahalaga para sa operation and maintenance ng vessel. So, kagaya nga ng stores to be taken away dito na, ay sorry, sa letter B ng 818 um, that they will be also exempted from import duties and taxes. So, just like fuel and lubricants. Okay? So, syempre, fuel and lubricants, you are buying that outside the customs territory ng Philippines. So, um, it should be payable of duties and taxes. But the law says that it should be exempted provided further that they remain on board while these means of transport are in customs territory. So again, magiging exempt lang siya from duties and taxes if that particular particular fuel and lubricants are being used doon lang sa vessel, aircraft, or uh, train na yon. Okay? So, if um, that particular lubricant or oil or or um, fuel will be used outside the vessel or aircraft or train, then they will be paying duties, taxes, and other charges. Sabi pa dito, the Bureau shall allow the issue of stores for use on board during the stay of a vessel in the customs territory in such quantities as the customs authority deemed reasonable with due regard to the number of the passenger and crew and to the length of the stay of the vessel in the customs territory. Okay? So, itong mga goods naman na ito, or this is stores, should be reasonable enough for them to be free of duty. Okay? So, yung mga dapat mga supplies ni na crew and passenger should just be necessary for their consumption. Okay? Kasi kapag labis na best, it will be deemed unreasonable. Okay? So, pwedeng isipin ni Bureau of Customs na they are going to sell or they are doing they're going to do something 
um, to that particular goods aside from um, consuming them. Okay? So the Bureau should allow the issue of stores for use on board by the crew while the vessel is undergoing repair in a dock or shipyard, provided finally that the duration of stay in a dock or shipyard is considered to be reasonable. Okay? So for example, that the vessel was um, um, was wrecked and it needs to, to stay in a dock or shipyard, then they should still allow the use of stored that are on board the vessel by the crew okay so the crew can still use those goods that are inside the vessel if um again uh if the bureau of customs considered it reasonable okay so si bureau of customs pa rin ang decide whether or not they will be paying for duty taxes and other charges for those stores or for those goods that are on board the vessel aircraft or train Okay, let's continue. When an aircraft is to land at one or more airports in the customs territory, the Bureau shall allow the issuance of stores for consumption on board both during the stay of the aircraft at such in intermediate airports and during its flight between such airports. Okay? So, the Bureau shall still allow the issuance of stores consumption. So, that means they should still not pay for duty taxes and other charges if the aircrafts will land from one airport to another within a customs territory or with, for example, within the Philippines. Okay, the Bureau shall require a carrier to take appropriate measure to prevent any unauthorized use of the stores, including sealing of the stores when necessary. It shall require the removal of stores from the vessel, aircraft, or trains for storage elsewhere during its stay in the customs territory and when the Bureau considers it necessary. Okay? So, the, the Bureau shall um, create a carrier okay, to take appropriate measure okay, para hindi magamit inappropriately ang mga store. Okay? Especially the ceiling of the stores. Okay? So, it also, the Bureau shall also require the removal okay, the removal of the stores from the vessel aircraft for storage elsewhere during its stay if it's necessary. So, for example, the vessel is in distress or there is something wrong with the vessel and the crew or the officers in charge of the vessel will ask the Bureau of Customs if they can take the, the stores inside the vessel out, out of the vessel. Then, if, it's, if the Bureau of Customs see that it is necessary for the stores to be taken out of the, the vessel then they can allow they can allow it and they are not going to pay the duty taxes and other charges okay but they still need um, to follow the guidelines of the bureau of customs where they are in okay the bureau shall also require a carrier to take up um, what's it vessel aircrafts or trains which depart from an ultimate foreign destination shall be entitled to take on board exempted from duties and taxes the following. Okay? So, yung mga aalis daw for an ultimate foreign destination, okay? ibig sabihin, malayo ang pupuntahan nila. The, the Bureau of Customs can allow them without paying duties and taxes to bring stores in such quantities as the Bureau deemed reasonable. Okay? So, kung malayong-malayo ang journey ni vessel aircraft or train, pwede nilang payagan na maraming silang um, stores or goods na ipadala, na dalahin without paying duty taxes and other charges. Okay? With due regard to the number of passengers and crew, to the length of the voyage or site, and to any quantity of such stores already on board. Okay? So, pinapayagan naman ni Bureau of Customs na magdala sila ng marami, but it should be deemed reasonable of the length and the number of crew passengers that are inside a particular vessel, aircraft, and train. Number two, stores necessary for the operation and maintenance of a vessel, aircraft, or train in such quantities are deemed reasonable again for operation and maintenance during the voyage or flight after due regard of the quantity of such stores already on board. So they can, um, the Bureau of Customs can have, uh, can allow the numbers of um, stores or goods that are needed for the maintenance and operation of a vessel. Again, if the if it's an ultimate journey or meaning it is um, a very long um, 
journey or a very far destination wherein the vessel or aircraft or train really needs those stores or those goods for the operation and maintenance throughout their journey. Okay? So they also um, allow, allow that and again without payment of duties and taxes. Replenishment of stores that are exempted from duties and taxes shall be allowed for vessel and aircraft or trains which have arrived in the customs territory and which needs to replenish their stores for the journey to their final destination in the customs territory subject to the same provision provided in this chapter. Again, so pag naubos, halimbawa, yung mga ipapalit nila, naubos yung mga goods nila ng vessel, aircraft, and train, naubos, yung mga ipapalit nila or the replenishment, should be also exempted from duties and taxes. Okay? So, ayun. Until they arrive to their final destination in the customs territory. So, that is section 820. Exemption from duties, taxes of stores. Now, section 821. Goods declaration for stores. So, paano daw yung goods declaration? Or how are you going to file an entry for stores? Okay, it says here that when a, good, when a declaration concerning stores on board vessel arriving in the customs territory is required by the Bureau, the information required shall be kept to the minimum and as may be necessary for customs control. So, dito naman sa goods declaration ng stores, it should be kept to the minimum or you are not going to um, describe specifically what are inside those stores. Okay? So, those um, information that are just necessary for... Um, customs control are being required by the Bureau for the declaration of stores that are on board the vessel. The quantities of stores which are supplied to vessels during its stay in the customs territory should be recorded on the required goods declaration concerning stores. <clears throat> okay. So, they also need to record the quantity that are being supplied to the vessel during their stay in the customs territory and they should um, record it by the goods declaration concerning that particular store. The Bureau shall not require the presentation of a separate declaration of remaining stores on board a vessel, an aircraft, or a train. No separate declaration concerning stores should be required upon departure of vessel from the customs territory. So, hindi na inaalaw ni Bureau of Customs na, na mag-present pa ng separate declaration para dun sa mga natitirang stores that are on board the vessel, okay, aircraft or train. And there should be no separate declaration concerning stores which are departing, uh, which are required upon the departure of the vessel from the customs territory. When a declaration is required concerning stores taken on board the vessel or aircraft upon departure from the customs territory, the information required shall be kept to the minimum as may be necessary for customs control. Again, tandaan when um, it is necessary for uh, for the stores to be declared that should be the information required should also be kept in minimum which is necessary only for customs control okay when a vessel aircraft or train arrives in the customs territory stores on board the vessel shall be cleared for consumption okay or placed under another customs procedure subject to compliance with the conditions and formalities applicable in each case. So if ever that a vessel or aircraft arrive in a customs territory, yung mga stores na nakasakay pa rin sa barko shall be cleared for consumption, okay? Or they should be placed under another customs procedure subject to compliance with the conditions and formalities applicable in each case or subject to prior authorization by the viewer to be transferred respectively to another vessel, aircraft, or train assigned to an international group, okay? So, if ever though that a vessel, for example, will um, end its voyage, then they should declare um, all the stores that are inside um, that are inside their vessel, okay? And for example, they need to uh, place those in a warehouse, then um, that will be another customs procedure, which is for warehousing, and they should follow all the conditions and formalities applicable for their case, okay? And also, it can be transferred respectively to another vessel or aircraft assigned to the international route, syempre, with the, with the proper authorization from the Bureau of 
customs. So that is what stores um, were all about. Okay? So these stores, this, um, ito ay para doon sa mga vessel, aircraft, and trains. Okay? Na, Nagbo-voyage or nagka-travel internationally. Siyempre, they have their own um, uh, supplies inside their vessel. They have their own equipment. They have their own um, necessary things that they need during their voyage. And siyempre, those goods should be also checked by the Bureau of Customs for them to know whether or not they are smuggling or not. Whether or not they are smuggling. Okay? So, the Bureau of Customs should know whether a certain goods inside a particular vessel or aircraft should be subject from duties and taxes. Okay? So that is the reason why there are laws governing the stores that are inside the vessel, aircraft, and trains. Okay? So I hope that you have learned something from this lesson. If you have some questions, feel free to ask. You can comment down below if you have some questions. Okay? So thank you guys. I hope that you learned. Bye.